You know what I like more than candy? Tension. In the room. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And uh, actually welcome back because I've, I've been gone for a while now. At least you can see I got a new setup. That's what I've been doing. I haven't been like slacking off or anything. Uh, I've just been like really waiting for the right time to make content that I'm actually proud of with good quality or okay quality at least. So yeah, if you're if you stuck with me, like thank you. <laughs> and hey, we're back. We're fully back now. I promise. And today we're gonna start off with a review of the Kylie Minogue album. Uh, the new Kylie Minogue album. Kylie Minogue is a legendary pop princess. She's literally called the Princess of Pop by many i guess i i didn't even know her until now to be honest she's a veteran pop star who started her career as early as 1988 with her self-titled album and now nearly 40 years later she's it's amazing that she's still releasing music and she still has the passion to release music and, and i remember last year she dropped the tension one this and everyone every critic reviewed it everyone like was hands on it and i didn't know who she was at the time but now that she's released a part two of that album with this one, I thought I maybe I could like get ahead of it and like be the first one to actually like have a review on it. So this album is called Tension Part Two, and it's supposed to be like a sequel to the the previous album, as I mentioned, and and it follows the trend of the this new crazy trend of everyone having their hand in dance music. Everyone dance music is like the hottest genre out right now, and Everyone's trying, every ma a mainstream artist is trying to capitalize on its virality and popularity as of late. And this one's no different. It's another shot at a uh, dance album. So I came in here not having an, any expectations because I haven't, this is my first introduction to Kylie Minogue. And if I had to like say what my experience was, I didn't know she sounded so much like Gwen Stefani. Like, she literally sounds like Gwen Stefani. This is a club electropop type album. It's like, or a mixture, a fusion of some club classic tropes and some cl classic pop tropes, actually, which is crazy to me. I, I felt like this album has a clean bandit-esque style, which was so funny to me. Because, you know, the way they use their strings and mix them with production and i wouldn't be surprised if clean bandit was like on the the actual production tags here i so the f first leg of the album starts out really strong in my opinion we start off with the song my favorite song of the album uh lights camera action which i thought was just a really fun club banger like it's well produced everything sounds clean and it, and the production is just different enough to separate from the derivative is it, of course it's like playing off of a really recognizable dance drop and like production but then it also adds this kind of weird uh the way that it's panned it, it also adds some flavor into it and so i think we start off really strong with the best song off the album and then we get into taboo which i thought was a less strong i thought the chorus was a bit weak and it was a bit meddling probably the weakest on the album is i just feel like and especially with how the time has kind of impacted obviously kylie minogue's vocals to a degree because she didn't really like sound um very pristine and you kind of get that through the mo most of the records on this album she doesn't sound at her best it doesn't feel like this was her this is her peak moment right now but then she heavily relies on more audio effects and just touch-ups and expensive equipment this album at least sound clear and clean and everything in between <laughs> and so the first leg i think is the strongest we have songs like someone for me I think the most focused song on this album, the only focused song on this album, I, I like how it's really hones in on its narrative and it, we're really like getting more thematic writing, um, unlike the rest of the album, which is a bit kind of vague. Also has this weird like cuck perspective. <laughs> there were songs like As Good As Gone, which has a weak chorus, but then it's actually really danceable. I found myself dancing and like really getting into the groove. Then like after that, that's when we kind of dip. When we get to the core of the album towards the end, I feel like 
the quality significantly drops, especially in the writing aspect where it's there's nothing really memorable in the second half. We have songs like Kiss Bang Bang, Diamonds, Hello, which are just so bland, drawn out, thoughtless. And I'm not saying the production here was like experimental or anything. I'm just saying, like, the, at least the writing was better in the first leg. This time, everything's down. The writing's down. The production's down. A bit kind of disappointing, in my opinion, but... And then the final cuts are dance to music, um, which is kind of like... I feel like it's just Dollar Tree, Daft Punk. A uh, very poor attempt. Probably my worst on this album, if I'm being honest. It would be if we didn't have features on the last cut, which is Oh My Oh My, uh, featuring Tovlo and BB Rexa. They don't really like hard harm the song at all. BB Rexa is just being BB Rexa. Well, she normally does, and Tovlo is non-existent as usual. It's not good. It's it's probably the worst song on this album, if I'm being honest. Especially if you consider how like unnecessary baby rexa was here she kind of like blends in and doesn't really add anything to the song they literally go in like similar vocal ranges so it's kind of weird i don't understand why we needed her maybe it's just a name to add on the album i guess or like just to get a dance mainstream dance titan on the song just to give it a that little smidge of credibility which is very understandable in my opinion so that's when we reach to the end of the album. If I had to like some of my thoughts about it, like I feel like what the word why we needed to name attention to or name it anything, like there's no I don't get the tension part. I don't get it. Is it tension being released after listening to this so album? Is that what the point is? I don't really get it. Um. I, d I just think they should have like not named it anything because there's no narrative here. Everything is just vaguely described. The most narrative-driven song here is Someone For Me. And after that, the rest is just... It's vaguely calling to something. Like, some tracks are about love, but then we're not really getting into any specifics, which is obviously a theme on the album. Some songs are about, you know, in the just dancing in the club or something. Like, it has a loose narrative. So, yeah... So yeah, that's my review of the Kylie Minogue album. If I had to give it a rating, I would give it a... Also, one thing that I forgot to mention is how good the... How clean the production is here. Because we're not going to like spend this whole video and not talk about how like well produced it is. You can actually tell there's, there's some expensive instrumental backing here. I just thought it was not used in very creative ways. I really like the guitars on those songs. They sound so beautiful and so groovy. You like really get into the mood of of whatever the production was trying to show us here. So shout out to the producers actually. Like this was actually like clean even though it was kind of a bit derivative in my opinion. Uh give it this album a rating I would give it a uh, 5 out of 10. I thought hey, we at the base and and at the core of this album is a well produced, well recorded, well not really sung but well executed album. It's very effective in I guess what she wants to do, which is make a mainstream uh, electronic dance album with a fusion of her usual pop styles. Which uh, on that front, like I don't think. She did anything wrong, so that I just like had to put her on a middle rating. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you really liked it, press the like. If you really loved it, press subscribe, and that would be also great. That would be beautiful. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna start posting more regularly. Um, I'm just trying to get in on schedule and just get a video out, just to like get the courage and like encouragement to make more and just start writing again start doing all these things so yeah if you like the video yeah you know what i, I already told you so bye